First is the series connection, which is used to increase a system's output voltage. It's suitable for long distance power transmission or matching high voltage loads and power stations. Next is the parallel connection, used to increase a system's output current. It's ideal for high power applications. Finally, a series parallel combination can be used to meet more complex solar output requirements. In a series circuit with solar panels of the same specification, the total output current remains constant, while the total output voltage adds up. In a parallel circuit with solar panels of the same specification, the total output voltage remains constant, while the total output current adds up. Regardless of the connection method, the total output power is simply the number of solar panels multiplied by the power of each panel. Understanding the values for voltage and current will help you choose the correct connection method. So, how do you know the requirements for the total current and voltage? Let's look at a common scenario. You have an EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra Power Station, which has both a high PV port and a low PV port. You can find related solar input requirements in the user manual or on the product label. Using EcoFlow 400 watt rigid solar panels can quickly recharge the power station. If connected to the 1600 watt low PV port, four panels are enough. Next, we need to check the electrical parameters for both series and parallel connections to see if they meet the power station's requirements. First, make sure that the solar panel's output parameters do not exceed the power station's maximum voltage and current limits. These are the parameters of the EcoFlow 400 watt panel. For calculations, you can find this information in the user manual or on the product label. When the four panels are connected in series, all the electrical parameters meet the requirements for the power station's low PV ports. When the four panels are connected in parallel, the total output current exceeds the power station's capacity. But what about a series parallel connection? Since one 400 watt panel cannot form a parallel circuit, a series parallel connection is the best method when using 400 watt panels with a Delta Pro Ultra's low PV ports. Make sure that the solar panel's output parameters meet the power station's minimum voltage and current requirements. For the Delta Pro Ultra's high PV port, at least three EcoFlow 400 watt rigid solar panels connected in series are required to meet the voltage requirements. If only two 400 watt solar panels are connected to the high PV ports, it may not provide sufficient voltage to charge the Delta Pro Ultra. Here is the maximum number of solar panels for the two Delta Pro Ultra photovoltaic ports. After meeting the above requirements, you can simultaneously charge using the high PV ports and the low PV port to achieve maximum charging efficiency. Connect four 400 watt solar panels in series to the low PV ports and connect 10 400 watt solar panels in series to the high PV ports. The best connection methods for other power stations and solar panels will be different. Now, let's learn about features, how to connect panels, and other important factors for different connection methods, which will help you to make an informed decision. A series connection involves linking the positive terminal of one solar panel to the negative terminal of the next panel, forming a series circuit. This is the junction box of the EcoFlow 400 watt rigid solar panel with one side for the negative terminal and the other for the positive terminal. This is the solar connector compatible with MC4. Here we have four solar panels. Simply connect the panel terminals in a parallel line. Finally, use the EcoFlow solar to low PV port charging cable included with the Delta Pro Ultra to connect the panel connectors and wires. Then plug the other end into the low PV port on the Delta Pro Ultra. You might encounter situations where the panels are spaced too far apart or the cables are not long enough. In such cases, you can purchase the EcoFlow solar extension cable to help with the connection. Series connections are relatively simple, requiring fewer wires and offer a high level of system stability. Series connections can also increase the system's open circuit voltage, ensuring a high output voltage even in poor sunlight such as on cloudy rainy days, while maintaining stable system operation. When roof space is limited, or when your devices require a higher voltage, a series connection is ideal for connecting solar panels. 
when using a series connection, keep the following things in mind. Solar panels in a series connection are very sensitive to shading. If one panel is shaded, the entire series circuit output current will drop significantly. The available space on the roof will determine how many solar panels you can install. The parameters of the solar panels in the series should be as consistent as possible, including power, voltage, current, etc. Since the voltage in a series connection is higher, extra care should be taken during installation and maintenance to avoid electric shocks. You could also take into account local grid connection requirements and policy limitations for photovoltaic systems. Always hire professional installers for complex solar systems to ensure safety during setup. Finally, remember to regularly inspect and clean your solar panels to ensure maximum energy efficiency. To create a parallel circuit, connect the positive terminals of multiple solar panels together and the negative terminals together. Connect the positive terminals and the negative terminals of two solar panels together using the EcoFlow Solar Parallel Connection Cable. Use the EcoFlow Solar to XT60i charging cable to connect the junction of the parallel connection cable. Then, connect the solar charging wire to the XT60 port on the main product to charge it. A parallel connection increases the system's output current, making it suitable for high power applications. They are also more reliable. If one solar panel is partially shaded or malfunctions, it won't have a major impact on the system's overall output. If roof space is limited, or if you need to increase the solar system's output power to quickly charge your power station, you can use the parallel connection method. Parallel connections increase the system's total current, thereby boosting the output power. When using a parallel connection, keep the following things in mind. The output current of solar panels connected in parallel may not be completely balanced, which can affect the efficiency of the system. When the solar panels are connected in parallel are far from the input device, the wiring distance will also be longer. The current increases after the solar panels are connected in parallel. Therefore, a thicker connecting wire is needed, significantly increasing the cost of the wire. In this situation, a series connection is a more economical choice. The total current generated by the parallel connected solar panels must not exceed the PV input current limit of the power station. Series and parallel connections can be combined. By using a reasonable series parallel combination, you can improve the system's efficiency and reliability. You can adjust the combination of series and parallel connections based on different needs to achieve optimal system performance. Divide the panels into two groups. First, connect the positive and negative terminals of the two panels in each group. Then, connect the positive terminals with positive terminals and negative terminals with negative terminals using the EcoFlow Solar Parallel Connection Cable. Use the EcoFlow Solar to XT60i charging cable to connect the junction of the parallel connection cable. Then connect the EcoFlow Solar to the XT60i charging cable to the PV port to charge the main product. The key considerations for a series parallel combination include the following. Match the voltage and current requirements of your devices, inverter, or power station. The solar panel's output voltage and current should not exceed the limitations of the main product. The available space on the roof will determine how many solar panels you can install. Consider whether the roof is obstructed by objects like trees or buildings, which could cause shading. Take into account local grid connection requirements and policy limitations for photovoltaic systems. Always hire professional installers for complex solar systems to ensure safety during setup. Remember to regularly inspect and clean your solar panels to ensure maximum energy efficiency.